Hey guys, Will Mason here for another episode of Demo Lab at the Mason Music Recording Studios. Today we are checking out this awesome guitar. This is the Reverend Charger HB, which stands for Hell Beast. No, I'm just kidding. It stands for humbuckers because we have these two fantastic PAF style humbuckers in the body of this guitar. And that is the heart and the soul of it. And it sounds fantastic. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the general features of Reverend guitars and then we're going to get specific about this one. So to begin with, all Reverends have these. These are the pin locking tuners. Um, this makes changing your strings really, really easy. You just unlock the string, um, you pull the old string out, thread the new one in, lock the pin locker, and then you just go to town tuning your guitar. Uh, as with uh, that feature and others on Reverend guitars, they go to a lot of lengths to really understand their guitar players, their customers, and so they make a pro-level instrument that is um, definitely stage worthy, but it's at an affordable price point so that real musicians who are actually playing gigs and trying to make it can afford to get one of these in their hands. So we have the pin locking tuners that you're not gonna see on any other guitar at this price point. And then we have a bolt-on maple neck on this guitar with a rosewood fretboard and jumbo frets. And I love the finish they use on their necks it is a satin finish, it's not a super high gloss finish. So it's very comfortable to play, it's fast to slide up and down the neck. Um, and it's just, it's, it feels good in your hands. Uh, this particular guitar, the Charger series, uh, has a really cool look to it. Um, Reverend puts a lot of time and thought into the design and the aesthetic of their guitars. The shape of this guitar is very kind of a retro feel, throwback, and yet it still says modern. So you get this thing up on stage and people are gonna wonder, where did you get that? Because it's not every day that you see a Reverend. So it's a really cool guitar. It's a way to stand out from all your friends who are playing um, other kind of standard guitars. Um, we've got some very familiar controls down here. You have a three-way pickup selector switch that's going to switch between the neck pickup, the bridge pickup, and then the middle position is going to be a blend of the two. You have a master volume, a master tone, and then you have this knob up here, which is a signature um, knob for Reverend guitars. This is the bass contour knob, and you've heard us talk about it before. It is a knob that just pulls some of the bass and the low mids out of the mix of the signal. And it's a really, really unique feature, and it's a really useful feature. It gives you access to a whole nother range of tones and of EQ sculpting that you wouldn't otherwise have without that knob. So I'm a big fan of this guitar. I'm a big fan of this company. They're great to work with on our side, and um, all of our customers who walk out with a Reverend are super happy and they become fans instantly. So I'm gonna play uh, some sounds for you on this guitar to start with. Uh, we're gonna go to the clean side of this amp. We're playing through an orange dual terror today. And we're gonna give you an idea of kind of the range of tones you can get out of this guitar on clean sounds. And then we're gonna switch over for some more rock and roll stuff in a minute. So to begin with, we'll be on the neck pickup with all the knobs all the way up. Here we go. We're going to roll the bass roll off and down so you can hear the difference. So you can tell it's a really big difference. Uh, it pulls a little bit of the volume out as well with the bass, but it leaves behind this really cool um, sort of filtered sound. It almost sounds like you've changed pickups, but you haven't. This is all just on one pickup so far. Um, let me show you that again. Here's with the bass up. So you can already start to imagine the possibilities of what you can get out of this guitar. Let me switch to the middle switch uh, position, see what this sounds like here. all the way back to the bridge. One of the other things that this guitar does really well is kind of a funky uh, sort of strumming pattern thing 
on the middle selection. So I'm gonna play you some of that and see what you think about that. So I don't play a ton of music that that's uh, that in that style, but this guitar just kind of asked me to do it, so I did it. Um, it's really a lot of different range, just on the clean side. So we're gonna switch it over to the dirty side. This is kind of where I live most of the time anyways with rock and roll, and let you hear the wide range of sounds that you can get out of the dirty side of the amp um, with the same guitar. So we're gonna start with the neck pickup, and we're gonna work our way back. Definitely has a really fat and beefy, meaty lead tone on that neck pickup with the bass roll off all the way up. Uh, listen to how it changes a little bit as you roll the bass down on this dirty side. So it's not quite as noticeable as on the clean side, but it is really cool because it clears it up a little bit and gives you more clarity when you're strumming um, on a really distorted, overdriven sound. So if you kind of are on that neck pickup, but you want a little bit more clarity, you can roll the bass down and you have access to it right there. Almost sounds like a single coil, which is really cool. All right, and we're gonna go to the middle position. all the way back to the bridge position, play some Zeppelin because this is kind of a Gibson style guitar. Reminds me a lot of my Les Paul, except it doesn't weigh nearly as much because it's made of Carina wood. So it's great for being on stage for long periods of time. It doesn't break your back. <laughs> There you have it. This is the Reverend Charger HP. It's a fantastic guitar. I can't recommend it enough. You need to come into one of our stores and get your hands on one at Mason Music here in Birmingham, Alabama. And if you're not from uh, this side of town, you can definitely check them out online. You can go to our website, masonmusicrocks.com, click on the shop link, and we can ship one anywhere to you. And um, definitely like, comment, share, whatever you do on YouTube to this video. If you're a fan, let us know what you think, and absolutely, you have to subscribe so you can get the next episode of the Demo Lab as soon as it comes out. Until then, rock on. We'll see you next time.